67 with breaking news, a massive fire in downtown El Paso. Thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 6. Let's get right to it. The images are incredible coming out of downtown El Paso right now. This is a live look at the scene just over Selwell Science's head. You can see the flames are still very intense right now. This is happening downtown at the DeSoto Hotel in downtown El Paso. It is a hotel that is under renovation right now, but you can see just how intense the flames still are. Massive plumes of black smoke coming out. Okay, everybody, real quick update. I, I just had to make a full-on video about this because it is so unbelievably bizarre. So we filmed the last video on the channel at the DeSoto Hotel just a week ago almost on Tuesday of last week, so the very last week of January, and they were slated to either demolish the building or condemn it. Well, we are getting reports right now that the DeSoto Hotel is in flames. It is a massive fire at the building that they expect is going to destroy the entire hotel. That means that we were the last group to ever investigate the hotel, and that means that a massive part of El Paso history is probably going to be gone by the morning tomorrow. I mean, just look at the pictures. It is the entire fourth floor, if you saw in our last video, where the motion ball moved by itself, where so many people had seen so many things. That entire story is in flames. It is a massive, massive fire. And it's making me wonder, you know, did something in the building have to do with this? I mean, that building is so negative and has attracted so much negativity over the years. It just makes sense that it was ended in a, in a fire, you know, and the presence of the demon, the satanic rituals that went on in there. It is so unbelievably bizarre for me to sit here and think that Jeff and I had just filmed that video literally lit, uh, just a little over a week ago. And now the building built in like, I believe the 1920s is going to be gone forever. That is, I mean, it's hard to believe, but yeah, if you haven't seen that video yet, go watch the DeSoto video because I don't know if what we filmed has something to do with what happened in the building or not, but yeah, I had to update you guys because that is, I mean, honestly, I mean, that's just crazy. I cannot believe that. Hey, Shalom, Yashala. Peace be into the nation of Israel, whom are my today so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and speck of our Israelites, whom are the Israelite foreigners, scattered across the four corners of the earth, including within America, Babylon, and Great, whom are the most high Yahweh's chosen people of the nation of Israel. So without further ado, as always, just want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honor to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Baruch, Kodash, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten and anointed Son, Yahweh Shai, and Holy Spirit, whom is our strength, and our Redeemer, and our light, and our salvation. And with that, Mashanah, Kabwadim, Lahasakwanim, Shalak, Adabarakah, which is double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the true shepherds of Israel, pushing his sound doctrine of faith, truth, and sincerity, and Shalom, honors and salutations to Bayasha Dawada, the 144,000 elect governing body of the house of David, along with the rest of the one third elect men, women, and children of Israel. All right, and this is your fellow servant, Malak Rayab. Just back at it again, uh, another uh, biblical lesson through the spirit of prophecy. Being the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach and Havashai, who in the mass of the other world eagerly referred to Jesus Christ. And it's dealing with, um, you know, major event that just happened down here in El Paso regarding uh, a historical uh, hotel, um, which is uh, the uh, the Hurricane uh, Salaki, the uh, the Hotel uh, De Soto, are formerly known as the uh, the Great Northern Hotel, uh, uh, established back in 1905. Uh, named after the uh, the Great Northern uh, Railroad that 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 never ran through El Paso that that it was intended to, but but nonetheless, when it was changed to uh, the Hotel De Soto in the 1940s, um, ended up keeping his name up until the point until recently when when it ended up getting burned down, man, and was which was very uh, you know you know uh, you know interesting as as this guy was pointing out of uh, you know the paranormal uh, files team, you know that that uh. You know, became infamous for going around certain, you know, uh, areas of the world, mainly within America. You know, um, you know, communicating with demons, which is necromancy, wickedness. You know, uh, mainly through Ouija boards, which they did uh, in in this uh, paranormal um, episode, this paranormal file episode. You can watch on that platform when they came down here about a week ago at the end of January, and they visited this this haunt, this so-called haunted. Uh, 
El Paso uh, hotel by the name of uh, De Soto. Okay, you know, a heavily wicked place. You know, being that, you know, this place in El Paso in general um, has, uh, you know, uh, you know, satanic, uh, uh, you know, a good, uh, a rich satanic history, so to say. All right, uh, historically speaking, you know, including, um, you know, this this uh, serial killer by the name of uh, Richard Ramirez, aka the the Night Stalker, that was born here. All right, and and uh, ended up, you know, becoming an infamous uh, uh, serial killer. You know, in uh, the 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 Los Angeles and, and uh, Bay Area. All right, where he he was going around, you know, uh, uh, you know, breaking into homes and putting people to death gruesomely. All right, and he uh, was affiliated with witchcraft. All right, so it's not a coincidence that this paranormal team, you know, ended up investigating this haunted uh, De Soto Hotel. All right. The uh, one of the most historic wicked hotel in El Paso and in West Texas, period. All right. And um it burns down a week later, man. You see? And this guy says uh, he doesn't know if it was him or his partner that had anything to do with it, you know, in regards to them, you know, in uh, invoking them demons through the Ouija board, you know, during during their uh their investigation of that, you know, of that hotel. But it really had nothing to do with them, man. And, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the first precept. You know, the further confirm who is responsible for that. All right. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 7, it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. I know. So the Heavenly Father, all right, uh, controls the, the right hand side. All right. Of righteousness. All right. Of, of, of uh, righteous miracles and, and acts of righteousness. All right. Uh, and the left hand side of of darkness, which is uh which is evil, all right. And what happened to that hotel was evil, man. You know. And speaking of fire, that's another omen that the you know uh, that the heavenly father continues to showcase, man. Okay, the the uh, the ending times of the wicked, okay, within this paradigm shift of the righteous everlasting rulership within the kingdom of heaven, otherwise known as the kingdom of Israel, okay, for the modern day, uh uh uh, uh you know for the for the Israelites who are the modern day so called Black Hispanic and Native American Indians. And this is the further omen that pursuing a St. Luke 21 and 28, Romans 13, 11, and similar precepts, you know, the Lord is getting ready to deliver his saints from Babylon the Great, which is America, you know, because that further confirms that what happened to that, that, that famous El Paso Hotel de Soto, you know, regarding that, that, that hotel burning to the ground is what's going to happen to um, every city within Babylon the Great. Is this prophesied in Jeremiah 49 and uh, 15 on down. It speaks about how Edom will be made a desolation like Sodom and Gomorrah. You see? Why? Because, you know, this this place was 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 uh predicated and established off of carnality and witchcraft. You see? And that's why in 1973 there was a Satanist that broke into that uh that DeSoto hotel, started vandalizing property. When he got caught, he he uh, uh, uh ended up invoking demons uh uh and and and, and um you know cursing them security guards or cops that apprehended him, man. Okay. And that and that has and I've tried to put a hex on that place ever since then. And like it says in Deuteronomy um twenty seven and fifteen. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get that real quick. All right. You know, it goes into um, you know, hex is being placed on places, you know, witchcraft is performed. All right, this is Deuteronomy twenty seven and fifteen. Cursed be the man that maketh any graven or molten image. An abomination until you, the Lord Yahweh, the work of the hands of the craftsmen, and put it there in a secret place, and all the people shall answer and say, Amun, you see? And and, and uh, Isaiah the 19th chapter goes into how, you know, modern day Egypt, which is America, the house of bondage, is going to be destroyed, okay, for that heavy idolatrous vibration of Satan, okay, be the pagan avenue of, of satanic worship. You see what I'm saying? Like like down there in New York, you got the uh, Statue of Liberty, which is symbolic of the, the ancient queen of heaven, Semiramis. See, you got so-called Mother Mary statue within the Roman Catholicism world, okay? For the commemoration of the, this, the goddess I mentioned, which is wicked, okay? Because in Exodus 20 chapter, it says they shall, uh, uh, yeah, the Heavenly Father Yahweh com uh, uh, commanded, within the first uh, commandment, that there should be no other God before him. But what does America promote? The exact opposite. All manners of perverseness as well, okay? And that's why the Lord is, is, is further bringing judgment, terrible judgment like never before, man, Okay? Right off the bat, you know, New Year's Day, you know, so-called New Year's Day, 
uh, Colorado wildfire. Okay, speaking of fires, multiple uh, volcano eruptions down there in, in the Pacific Islands within Tonga. Okay, 70 plus within the last several weeks. Okay, uh, most recently there was a there was a, a volcano eruption in uh, Indonesia, and I believe there is one building up in Guatemala. You see, and then now you have this situation with this wicked ass uh, 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 satanic hotel. Okay, this 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 satanic uh, uh, historic hotel, De Soto, burning down to the damn ground, man, because he's afraid of all what's going to happen to Babylon, man. The entire coast of Babylon. Okay, established off of. Uh, uh, carnality and witchcraft, man, under the guise of so-called white supremacy, okay, for those who arose from the bottomless pit, spoken about in Revelation, the 20th chapter, which is Europe, okay, because the people that ended up conquering America, the conquistadors and Spaniards brought that filth over here, that wine of fornication, okay, that Western philosophy, as, as, as it was further developed as, man, okay, a path of perverseness, okay, a satanic uh, council of wickedness, okay, the birthplace of, of witchcraft, okay, you know, was 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 extended up within this land, America. And that's why this place is so enriched in, in witchcraft, you see. You know, you know, so this this is not a this, this is not going to end. And this this is this this is just, you know, uh, you know, a further uh, a precursor on once again on what the Heavenly Father getting ready to do to this place. Another warning to you Israelites, man, that are into this stuff as well. Case in point in two thousand eight, this guy, um, you know, the guy that ended up renting the basement, okay, which which I'm about to go ahead and get him on camera in a little bit. He mentioned how in 2008, there was a Satanist that also broke in that DeSoto Hotel and was doing a satanic, uh, you know, uh, ritual in a basement, okay, which is the most wicked place, the most wicked area of that, that of that hotel. And he was uh, doing a satanic ritual with the, the herbs, all right, and, and, and the, the blood of the animals and the whole nine, right? And, uh, you know, they caught him and threatened to report him to the owner of the building and blah, 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 right? Um, and then they said ever since then, you know, the wickedness further increased in that place, okay? And there, there's people that were reporting it, people that were staying there, residents, and they, they were they were speaking about a little girl, you know, the spirit of a little girl running around in there. Why? Because, you know, these people have been invoking demons, man, these, these paranormal people and whatnot, you know, they speak to these, they, they invoke these demons through the Ouija board and so forth and, and, and similar acts, you know, and I was, uh, you know, invoking and citing these demons, okay, which is which is wickedness, you know. Otherwise, you know, because it's necromancy in Deuteronomy's 18 chapter. You see, you know, so ultimately it was Yahweh by Shemir Shah that brought that place to the ground. That that place was wicked as hell, okay. And you know, and what's going to happen to the rest of this, you know, rest of the, uh, you know, the um, the land of of America, Babylon the Great, all right. So ultimately, how about Shemesh Shah brought that evil upon that place? Let me get the next precept, Amos 3 and 6. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people shall not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord Yahweh hath not done it? You see? You see, and you see, because this this is this is the Heavenly Father's way of further uh, you know revealing, you know, or reminding the world of his uh his his uh, terrible righteous nature. Pursuing in Psalm 65 and 5, Deuteronomy 7, 21, and similar precepts, man. You see? Because this world has a, you know, false, you know, uh, uh, a perception of having father, you know, being a one-sided, you know, God of, uh, you know, long, you know, uh, uh, just, just complete, you know, uh, uh, you know, long-suffering, uh, happy-go-lucky, you know, uh, uh, you know, type of God when he's, when he's uh, balanced. He has a terrible side to him as well in righteousness, man. He he's you know uh, uh, being a he's a ruthless killer in righteousness, okay. Because every time we turn around, man, as, as as far as recently, you know, we've been hearing about various accounts of um, of deceased, you know, uh, 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 women, children, you know, what I'm saying, winding up dead, as well as men. You see, cause the Lord just has open season on the wicked like never before. All right. You know, so he's bringing this great evil, man. You know, this so this 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 is this is high time to wake out of sleep. All right, because we're gonna continue to hear about these omens. All right, so I'm going and uh, play a little bit more of this clip and close this out. I'm not gonna make this too long. Just another warning to you Israelites, man. Mainly you Issacharites, you so-called Mexicans down here from the tribe of Issachar. You are God's chosen people from the nation of Israel. Okay, you know, speaking of uh, speaking of which, in regards to your correlation with witchcraft, 
you know, down there in uh in Wadish in in, in 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 you know Mexico in general. Okay. You know, you know, Issachar and Zebulon is heavy into uh, you know, satanic uh you know, idolatry down there, all right, including the worship of Santa Muerte, all right, especially around the time of uh Halloween, okay, or the the worship of us uh the Lord of the Dead, Samhain, okay, the Santa Muerte, okay, where they got they got them uh satanic sanctuaries and underground altars down there, you know, to further worship the spiritual demon Satan. You see? And because when this place right before the the, the uh the Mexican the 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 uh the uh the Mexican war in the eighteen hundreds, this when this place was was have, when it, when this place was uh you know otherwise known as Little Spain, all right, it was under the heavy influence of witchcraft, all right. Why? Because those from the bottomless pit, the the uh, the Edomites brought that that wicked vibration over here to this land that was to be called America after America Vespucci, you know, the so-called white man, an Edomite. You see, and that's why this place is so wicked. All right. So once again, you know. It sounds like a broken record, but hey, man, that that this 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 Soto situation is just another omen of what's going to happen to America very soon, man. In regards to, you know, this these these uh, rumors of wars we continue to hear, you know, over this Ukraine situation mainly, you know, including uh, uh, America, Russia, Iran, China, North Korea, so forth. Okay, this last war's war is ultimately going to bring that fire. Okay, simultaneously with the fervent heat of Yahweh shining angels within this last war's war. All right, to baptize this place with fire. Because because of her sins reaching the heavens, pursuing a Revelation 18 chapter. So I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit more of this clip. I believe that we just filmed there last week, and now this building after being there almost a hundred years is in flames. So and I want to remind you guys also that literally, I mean, this is so weird to me, this is shocking. Just over a week ago, when we were filming in the DeSoto Hotel, Jeff um, for some reason noticed a burned portion of the roof and we talked about a previous fire that happened in the building years ago and we were talking about fires and and even off camera we were discussing how the building could be you know set up into flames so quickly and yeah here's that clip right now one of the rooms i'm not real sure which one like a young girl and her mother they were cooking food a fire broke out in the place for some reason nobody could get out um now there's a there's a a small child here a girl we think she's about seven or eight um her name's sarah and a lot of people have heard about sarah um she claims that she started a fire that killed her and now the people who have actually seen her pretty clearly say that one side of her face is disfigured, like a, a bad wound or something. Um, and we've, we got a picture years ago of what appeared to be a little girl, um, but we don't think it was, it wasn't human. Yeah, she had like ram's horns uh, in the picture. So we're, and that was downstairs in the basement in what we think is the portal. And it's a little closet. And she was standing there, something big right behind her also, which appeared to be another entity of some sort. And so at that point, we're like, Sarah's not a little girl anymore. It's not Sarah anymore. She's just trying to make you think it's Sarah. Um, but occasionally you hear, you know, a girl giggling. Right, because she went back to the spirit world. And that's another misconception of, um, you know, the idea of the afterlife. You know, that, that um, you know, the world of religion, you know, Freddie uses to justify that um, that concept, which is not biblical, because in Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, it says that when everyone dies, they go back to the spirit realm, all right? And whatever their judgment is, is played out on earth. And that's why there's a lot of people that are born, to, uh, that are born deformed, for example, because that was a part of the judgment. That was a play out on earth, the reincarnation, all right? So whoever that little girl was, is, we know, was in the spirit world. And if, and if her spirit, you know, it, it, you know is uh, was so-called haunting that place is because uh, of the invoking of, of demons, okay, through necromancy, you know, that, they, you know, that the, these, uh, these folks are, are known for indulging in, all right? As he just mentioned, she, whatever this, this, this being was, you know, this of, of uh, you know, the appearance of a little girl, you appear to be, you know, of, of a demon, okay? But uh, nonetheless, I'm going to play a little bit more of this. Playing and stuff like that, and people getting touched and, in the group. And 
you know, that's just Sarah Fain, if that is her. Uh -huh. This is the only uh, entry to this area, or not really an entry, but I mean opening. Uh, there's another room that has just the same thing. That's the same thing. Yeah, if you notice, doesn't fire. I mean, I don't understand what that. You see the black? Is it mold? No. Okay. That's fire damage. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Fire damage. So the building next door caught on fire in 1942. And in that fire, a guy named Snowden passed away. He, he died of the fire. And the fire spread onto this floor, the fourth floor. So it did some damage here. It wasn't horrible damage. It just did enough. But the smoke damage is still uh, noticeable in the rafters above the rooms. From the 40s. From the 40s. 1942. Wow. Yeah. It's a long time ago. Yeah. And it's, it's still there. You know, it's just kind of a mark in history. That's so cool. We had two whole house bars growing up. And uh, that doesn't go away. Oh. Even on postcards I've got from when I was a kid. Yeah. So that's not an eerie thing. Because... Around this time, 80 years ago, there was a fire that he spoke about that ended up claiming the life of the little girl, Sarah, and her mother, and another man he just mentioned. And then 80 years later, another fire breaks out. That's that's Yahweh by Shemir Shai, man. Okay? Like the scripture says, man, in Hebrews, the 10th chapter, it's a terrible thing to fall within the hands of Yahweh by Shemir Shai, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? The creator of, of, of all creation, the ancient of all days. He was responsible, ultimately, for the, the wickedness. Uh, 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 and the, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the, the darkness, you know, f uh, as a result of this wickedness, that's claiming a lot of people's lives, which darkness is symbolic of evil. Okay. Evil judgment through his plagues. Like it says in second edges 15 and five. Okay. It says, behold, said the how by I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. You see in verse six. All right. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And her hurtful works are fulfilled. There's not the wickedness, uh, uh, you know, further intensifying. Matthew, like it says in St. Matthew 24, chapter, around the 12th verse, love shall wax cold because iniquity uh, would abound. Okay? Iniquity is sin upon sin. And what these guys did, you know, within their investigation of the satanic hotel about a week ago, was further adding sin into sin. Okay? You know, further inciting them demons. You know, and they don't they, they don't know any better, man. They're they're they're, they're of the world, okay. But they're gonna you know, but uh, this is not about them. This is about Yahweh by Shemeshah judgment, man. His and his terrible reputation as a threat of warning, you know, for our people to repent, the nation of Israel, because the time is running. The the time is is running thin, man. Okay, time is, is getting shorter and shorter, and you know these days are flying by, man. We're already in February, okay. And all these terrible, uh, all these 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 last few prophecies are unfolding, screaming off the pages, okay? Because the Lord is getting ready to deliver His elect and destroy the wicked. All right. So I'm going to get the next precept dealing with omens. All right. Acts chapter two, verse nineteen, and it reads, "And I will shoot wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke." See, you can't get around that, man. There's no other way to explain these strange calamities these, uh, through these strange wonders that are happening in this earth, okay? Which I'm going to get the next precept in uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 36, verse 6. Adam and Ratazah, all right? Just bear with me one moment. Baba Gesha, all right? Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 36, we start at verse 6. And it reads, Shew new signs and make other strange wonders. Okay, glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. See, verse seven, raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Okay, so how's he afraid of taking away the adversary to, to, uh, to, to ultimately destroy the enemy? Okay, the eternal judgment of the enemy's empire, America, Babylon the Great, the wicked covering cast of the entire earth. Okay, spreading this wicked satanic global doctrine, okay, or council, which is why back in 2016 they were um, they presented something called after school Satan programs, man. Okay, then you got you got uh, a different accounts of witchcraft within the you know the the history of witchcraft within this land, you know, like down there in Salem, Massachusetts, dealing with the uh, the Salem witch trials. You see, you know, most recently in the fall, like uh, back in uh, around so called Christmas time. They had a satanic uh, Baphomet statue set up in, uh, in, in some sort of, uh, what do you call it, um, you know, some building, you know, down, I believe, in Massachusetts. 
All right. And it was a whole uproar between the Roman Catholics and uh, Satanists because a Baphomet statue set up in that area. OK. You know, so then you got the Baphomet statue set up in um, Detroit and all across America, man, because they, they, they're trying to remove the idea of the Heavenly Father from the earth. OK. And, and, and these are the wicked inventions. OK. That has, be, has been made a snare for this devil. Esau Edom, so-called white man who's behind, you know, this this disorder, this this uh, gross darkness, okay, within his attempt to play God on earth. So he, he will be worshipped as God, which is why he, we're in the midst of this paradigm shift where he's looking to uh, purpo you know, uh, purposely collapse this uh, global economy and replace it with the uh, digital all insertion, the karagma, okay? You see, and this is the, you know this is the time which we're living in. So it's not very much time left, man. These devils are about ready to make their move. All right, and around this time, we, we're, we're aware of their their blood fire ritualistic sacrifices, man. But ultimately, it's held by Shemir Shai. Okay, whether that was the case or not regarding that Desoto situation is ultimately held by Shemir Shai, man. Okay, so uh, I'm going to grab Nahum real quick. Nahum, chapter three, from the top. All right. I'm going to jump down to verse 4. Uh, starting from the top. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. Okay. And who's the prey? The Israelites. So-called black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Okay. Including the northern kingdom who was here first in America. The true founding fathers, man. Who had their land stolen from them. And ended up adopting the ways of the heathen. Okay. Indulging in witchcraft. Okay. Because most likely that man that was down there in that basement. Indulging in that um, satanic seance was an Israelite. He's a, probably an Issacharite, so-called Mexican, okay? You know, you know, because our people are into that madness. Like it says in Psalms 106 chapter and uh, 2 Chronicles 7 and 20, Jeremiah the 32nd chapter and other precepts, how we got kicked out of our land of Israel for indulging in this witchcraft is these uh, satanic sacrifices to Satan, you know what I'm saying, through these pagan practices, man, okay? Like worshiping a, 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 a slaki of sacrificing, you know, our, our people, Okay, to uh, Baal Molech, all right? And that's why down there in New York, they resurrected the temple of uh, Baal. And when people caught on to it, they changed it to the Ark of Nemesis. And down there in Massachusetts, New York, back in 2016. So this, all, having all this been said, man, this further confirms that America is, America is Babylon and Great all over again. America is Egypt all over again, spiritually. And that's why the Lord is bringing terrible judge upon this place. And he's, he's showing us omens that he's going to do it, okay? Because this place is, is a bloody city. It's a wicked city. A wicked land, okay? Verse 4, Nahum 3 and 4, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. That's what she's been doing, okay? That's why in Revelation 17 it says how these nations are going to burn the harlot, okay, through warfare. So let's go. So this was just another omen of what's to, what's to come to this place, all right? So I'm going to play a little bit more of this clip and end it on out. Um, but, uh, but yeah, call Lord me how by Shimei Shai, but uh, forgive me the spirit to do this video and for this happening for uh, to, to further, uh, get the attention of you, of you, uh, stiff neck Israelites down here, man, you know, and all across the world, mainly dealing with the Israelites down here where I'm located, you know, cause you're, you're, you're definitely in gross darkness, man. You, you have no idea what's going on, man. Okay. You walk around your head around the clouds, you know, I'll be seeing you, man. I'll be seeing you, Jake, man. Okay. You're not, you're not. Um, in tune with the prophecies, okay, what's really going on in this world, and what happened, and, you, and when you read the comments, man, it's sickening, man, we read the comments um, of this DeSoto situation on the, on these on these cats' uh, uh, platform, the paranormal uh, channel, all they're really saying is, oh, well, um, oh, I feel sad the building burned down, it was such a historical part of El Paso, that's the only thing you got to say? Like, you, you, the Heavenly Father did not, like, enter into your mind at all, like, you didn't say, oh, well, that's scary. The Lord brought judge upon that place. Nothing like that, man. Jake's mind is far gone. Could have drunk spiritually off the wine of fornication of this devil. You see? Could they want to stay here in Babylon, man? They've 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 made uh you know they they've made uh, oppression and perverseness a place of refuge along with lies. You see? They have no idea what time they're living in. All right, and they're and they're gonna be taken um by by the by the hour of of judgment by the Lord, okay. Pursuing Zephaniah, the first chapter, another precepts, all right, for being asleep. That's why First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter says we're not supposed to sleep like, like others do, like the people in the world. They're taken aback by these things that happen, 
because they don't fear the Lord. And that's why it says, uh, through, the, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Because the Lord is a terrible power in righteousness, man. And he's further uh, reminding his world of his of that reputation. The other side of him, okay? And it be, you know, through that fear. And that, because fear is the beginning of wisdom, man. And if you ultimately lack fear in these last days, when all, when all said, when it's all said and done, when, when the Messiah returns with angels on behalf of the Heavenly Father's uh, uh, righteous will, then you're gonna get you're gonna get caught up out here, man, in that in that destruction within that that terrible judgment, man. All right, for not taking heed to the warnings of these prophecies. All right, so I'm going to get Amos chapter nine, verse eight. It says, "Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh, by Shemeshai, upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from out the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob," said the Lord Yahweh. You see, so when 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 the Lord brings the ultimate fire, the fervent heat. Of the chariot uh, of the of the chariot of, uh, of the chariots of Yahweh Shai and angels simultaneously with this thermonuclear fire of these 200 million ICBM nuclear warheads prophesied in Revelation the ninth chapter and other precepts. Okay, uh, you, you you people that are conformed to this world, the masses, you're you're, you're gonna you're gonna um, your hearts are gonna fail you, like it says in Saint Luke the 21st chapter. Okay, for those who even make it that far within that 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 terrible plague of all plagues. That fervent heat of the Lord. Because that, that true fire is coming to America, man, in Babylon the Great, which is Babylon the Great. Okay? You know? But, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be a terrible judgment, man. All right? So we can warn you to, in, until we and you are blue in the face. But ultimately, if you're not of the elect, you're not of the elect. And through the fear of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, you know, we're, we're, we're persuaded, you know, to, um, you know, to prophesy. In which the, the, the spirit has been given to us. All right, to decide for these prophecies to where neither uh, the naysayers or gainsayers could resist. Okay, those who are written of the elect, those who are written of, of, of uh, in a book, all right, mainly of the elect, all right, to be converted into a new righteous creature, to be spared from the Lord's terrible judgment. And that's who we do these epistles for, okay, the lost sheep of Israel, mainly the elect of the elect, whose name is written in the book. Because we understand, and, and that's why we go out there and fish, because we don't know who's of the elect. That's why we warn you. Okay, out of fear. This is what the Lord is doing, man. He's doing this. See, I'm going to end it off on there, man. I believe the point has been made. The Lord is going to destroy the sinful kingdom, America, Babylon the Great, but utterly not destroy the house of Jacob, the elect. The 144,000 elect governing body of the house of David and the rest of the one third elect men, women, and children of Israel. Because of that, that covenant he promised us. Okay, so we're going to uh, go end it off here in uh, Sirach chapter 36. Verse 8. Okay, and he reads, Sake the time short. It says, Make the time short, remember the covenant, and let them declare thy wonderful works. So the Lord remember remembers his covenant he made with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in which we are the descendants of those men, so called black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Spoken about in Genesis the 49th chapter and other precepts. Now the, the hour is coming where we're about to be delivered from once for all. Out of the mainland of our captivity, the place of drawing waters, man. Okay, from under the, the wicked dominion of these devils. Okay, these I do these these Idumians. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this this clip off. And Adam Rataza, this is Fred Edifying his audience to elect. All right, who came across this video? All right, shalom on to the next one. Yeah, you can smell the. Did you smell the fire? I guarantee you get up there, you can smell. It. Yeah. Hopefully everyone stays safe out there. Much love to the El Paso community and to everybody. Leon, who was in the video, who rented out the basement, such a great guy. Um, much love to you, my man. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts below. Do you think that something in the building had something to do with the fire? Or, I mean, I don't really know. My mind is swirling right now because this has never happened to me with, uh, with the timing of when we filmed in a place and when a place was destroyed. So, yeah. Anyways, stay spooky, everybody. Enjoy your weekend, and uh, I'll keep you updated on the news about the hotel. Firefighters there on scene are trying to attack this from above from the ladders.
However, according to what we've been hearing over the scanner, the firefighters have been asked to evacuate the building, are now going in a defensive position. This is downtown El Paso, of course. Many of you are familiar with where this is in the DeSoto Hotel, but this gives you a bit of a reference point as to where it is. All right, let's take you back out live now as our camera zooms in a little more. As you can see, just how intense these flames are inside the hotel. There is just massive, massive amounts of fire inside the DeSoto Hotel right now in downtown El Paso. I believe we have several signs. It is raging, as you said, Eric, right now behind me. That that fire, as, as you said, all those firefighters are trying to battle that fire from high above. I'm cherry picking. And right now, this complete area in downtown El Paso, not far from City Hall, is actually uh, being blocked off. We understand the people over at Hotel Indigo, which is adjacent to the to this hotel, is they're being evacuated. Uh, a lot of people are being asked to stay away from this particular area. Of uh, just about every side, every corner around that hotel is actually blocked off. People are not being allowed inside, and uh, there are fears that this building could uh, actually collapse so they're asking people to stay away from this area but you can see just how this fire is raging you can see embers in through some of those windows it is one of those battles that uh, firefighters are going to have to continue for quite some time they're trying to douse it with water but it is to no avail those flames are just shooting right through the roof right now the smoke as i was driving it can be seen for miles and right now they're just trying to do whatever they can to save whatever they can again people are being asked to, to stay away from this particular area i can tell you that a lot of people are gathering where i'm standing right here i'm standing in the city hall parking lot it just gives you a sense of really the scope of this fire as we start to zoom out a little bit here you might be able to see it through some of that thick dense black smoke that we're seeing and now honestly it's actually difficult to even see that much because the black smoke has overtaken so much of the skyline right now two fire hoses from above are trying to attack some of these spots of the fire right now but you can see just how intense Hence the flames still are. This is still very early in this fight against such a massive fire. Right there in the middle, you can see just ever so faintly the word That's plaza there from the Plaza Hotel uh, just beyond in the distance. Uh, wow. There is a little bit of distance, obviously, so they're not right next to each other. Yeah, I do want to give you an update as I asked what I know to push into that. We have seen that parts of the roof have collapsed. Uh, they have collapsed. As you see those flames shooting through, and as we shoot through some of the windows, you can see that part of that roof has already collapsed, oh and that's that's why they're able to get closer to the fires. They're shooting the fire, the uh, water through uh, the top of the building. Parts of the roof have already collapsed, so we know that just by looking at it.